closing market comments for Friday, March the 26th. Markets opened unchanged last night to a slightly lower. Grains traded on both sides, but then traded lower going into the morning session. After the break, corn and wheat were able to rally and close higher on the day with soybeans down. Corn closed up six on old crop, up a penny on new. Beans closed down 14 cents on old crop and down eight on new. And wheat was up one cent on old and new. Soybean oil was sharply lower today, trading down two and a half cents a pound at 52.48. That was probably the biggest driver in soybeans because soybean oil has been the driver in that market. Can you continue talk about the ship ever given that's blocking the Suez Canal? Indications are now it will take a week or more to get the ship moving. The Suez Canal handles about 12% of all the freight in the world and it estimates it is costing over $400 million a day because of the shutdown holding up all the ships that are being held up on both sides of it. Argentina is beginning to harvest soybeans with early yields being highly variable, they're reporting. Baggy, the uh, Sorry Grain Exchange, released updated production numbers for Argentina, leaving them both unchanged at 44 million metric tons on beans, 45 million metric tons on corn. IGC put out their new world grade production numbers. They have total uh, grain production at 2.287 billion metric tons. That's up from 2.224. They estimate the world corn crop at 1.193 billion metric tons, up 54 from the previous month, and the world wheat crop at 790 million metric tons, up from 774. China took retaliation today against Australia, announcing that they would stop purchasing hay from Australia. Australia normally ships 300,000 tons of hay to China out of the million tons that they use annually. U.S. Hog and Pig Report last night had the hogs on feed at 98.2%, below the estimated 100.1%, and they had the breeding stock at 97.5%, below the estimates of 98.7%. Early in the day, we had hogs limit up because of the report. The dollar today was down 81 points at 92.745. Gold was up 30 cents at 17.25 and 20 cents. And silver was up 43 points at 25.065. Crude oil rebounded today up $2.32 at 60.86. And stocks were higher across the board with Dow futures up 207, NASDAQ up 62, and S&P up 30. Remember the planning intentions and March 1 stocks re report will be released on Wednesday, March 31st at noon, and we will include pre-report estimates on Monday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.